Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has just started making the long-term servicing channel LTSC version of Microsoft Office 365 available for commercial users. And that was a couple of days ago on the 16th of September this year, 2021. And as many of you know, Office 365 is a paid subscription service. So that's a monthly and yearly paid subscription service, which is cloud-based. Now, Microsoft says in this post, um, uh, obviously, there are a lot of users who don't want to um, pay for Office on a yearly or monthly subscription service. So now they've also announced that uh, they are making Office 2021 available, which that will be due for launch on the 5th of October. And as many of you know, that's the same day that Windows 11 is going to be rolling out. And that's just around the corner. The 5th is, you know, a, a couple of weeks away. And... So on the 5th of October, we are getting two big releases from Microsoft. Obviously, the big one there is Windows 11 and now also Office 2021. And Office 2021 will be available for both Windows and Mac OS. And Microsoft also says that um, this will not be the last release of Office. So we are expecting some future releases of Microsoft Office. Now, although Microsoft Office 2021 isn't a paid subscription service there are a couple of downsides and negatives um, if you choose to use that instead and according to microsoft here in paragraph three it's they say while it offers performance improvements and expanded accessibility it will not offer the cloud-based capabilities of microsoft 365 apps like real-time collaboration and l-driven automation in word excel and powerpoint as well as security and compliance capabilities that give added confidence in a hybrid world. So it is going to be a little bit more of a stripped down version of Office. Now, if we just head down to the bottom, this is where they say our consumer perpetual offering Office 2021 will be generally available on October the 5th, 2021, as mentioned. And then they say more details to follow. As yet, Microsoft hasn't given any pricing details of Microsoft Office 2021. But because uh, the release of Office 2021 is around the corner and happening shortly, I'm sure that we will get those details soon. And I will leave a link down below to this web page if you are interested. And then this uh, web page over at Microsoft Support tells us what's new in Office 2021. So if you are interested in Office 2021, yeah, you'll find all the uh, features and what's um, rolling out with Office 2021. And I will leave a link down below. Uh, to all of these, um, this list of improvements uh, rolling out with uh, Office 2021. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.